everyone. People are asking about how to repel AI via script. So I want to do a short tutorial. Uh, so I'm just going to use the editor for this. So open up the editor and just start by placing a unit. It's just going to be your player. And we're going to choose a spot for the helicopter to repel. So uh, let's try on top of this building. That'll be fun. So to do that, um, we need to place a little small object on the top of the building. Uh, I like to use maybe a pencil. Will sometimes work. So you can find uh, just any small object, doesn't matter. And put it exactly where you want the units to repel. So I'll place it right there. All right, and actually let's move my guy up there so I can watch. All right, so first thing you need to do after you place the small object, double click on it and give it a name. Let's call it repel underscore position. Press OK. Now we're going to add the helicopter and some units inside the helicopter. I'm just going to go over to the map interface for a second and let's go and find the helicopter. Let's use the ghost hawk. Let's just place it out here just to give you an example of it flying in. Um, so by default the helicopter is just going to have the pilot gunners uh, inside the helicopter. Um, to make units repel out of the helicopter, you have to add another group of units to the helicopter. So to do that, let's find a group we want to add to the helicopter. Maybe a fire team. So let's drag them out onto the map. And I'll select them all. And I can drag them into the helicopter. So it should kind of highlight like this. And then you release. And you should see that group disappears. And now they are added as cargo um, to the helicopter. All right, so let me go back into the map for a sec. So let's start the helicopter in the air just to speed things up. And let's rotate it. Okay, so now we need to go back to the map interface and we need to add some waypoints for the helicopter. So to do that, click on the group that contains the helicopter pilot. So I click right on Alpha 1, 2. Then go to waypoints and we're going to use a move waypoint. So we're going to drag that out onto the map. And you don't have to put it right on top of the pencil. Um, but it doesn't need to be right there. So you could put it right next to it. That's fine. And then let's add one more waypoint for the helicopter to fly away. Let's put it out there. All right. So if I ran this, the helicopter would just fly in and then fly out. That's not what we want. So to make them actually repel, you need to put in a little script. So what you're going to do is double click on the waypoint next to your repel position and then go down to the on activation and there's a script you need to put in so you can find this on the steam workshop description um, so it kind of gives you a template of what you need to put in here so the first thing it needs is the helicopter name uh, we haven't actually assigned that yet so let's do that first I'm just hit it hit OK and I'm going to go and on the left you see the ghost talk double click on that and give it a name let's just call it H1 doesn't matter now go back to the waypoint
and put change heli name to H1. Repel height, this is the number of meters above that pencil object that you want the helicopter to be at when they repel. Let's set that to 30 meters. And then position ASL, this is a position above sea level. Um, there's a function you can use to find that. So you're going to type in get POS ASL space, and then you're going to give it the name of that pencil object. I think we called it repel position. All right, press OK. Now that should be it. Let's try it out. Here's our, oh, where's the pencil? I don't even see it, but let's see if it works. So they're slowly moving into position and they should hop out once they get directly over that pencil object. Here they come. So only the group that I assigned into the helicopter is going to repel. The, the group that's actually flying the helicopter will remain in the helicopter um, and they'll fly away. So there they go. All right, so that kind of explains it. Um, one other thing you can do to make it a little bit easier, you don't necessarily have to use this an object. Um, like it's useful if you want to repel them on top of something, um, and you use the object essentially just to get the height, um, that position ASL attribute. But you don't need that. So instead of doing that, you can go to your first waypoint. And you can actually remove the second two parameters. And this will just have the helicopter repel the units at, I think it's default of 25 meters from uh, the position of the waypoint. So let's give that a shot. Now this isn't as accurate because the helicopter doesn't always fly exactly over the waypoint, but sometimes it's good enough. Actually we've seen in this case, oh, the waypoint was uh, completed way over here, so the units are repelling in the wrong position. So that's the benefit of using that pencil object to give them an exact position. There you have it. Have a good one.